Bob had to drop both titles. And, you know, I mean, like, he it basically halted his push. But the thing is, man, we've just recently discussed Jimmy Uso getting his, what, fifth DUI? And then days later being given the tag straps with his brother? In 2021? What and that's the a, fuck? And see, again, we just had this discussion. The difference between marijuana and drinking. Both are both might impair you, but one, you know, I mean, this guy was fucked up. So I'm just saying that him, Jimmy Uso doing what he was doing, especially with his history. Yeah, that's something. And especially you said he blew, I forgot, he his, he blew like high. Massively. Yeah. Massively. See, he was he was seriously impaired. I said, I I never seen anybody. Again, you can smoke a lot, a lot of marijuana and be impaired. It just depends on the level, but you can't test for that. You can't test like if you get pulled over and you go, "Hey, blowing this." Oh, you've been smoking the sticky icky. You hit an eight point nine. That's over the legal limit. You know what I mean? That's let, hard let to me, tell. Let Let me throw this out, right? Mm-hmm. Because yes, sir. There's always politics in wrestling. Correct. Correct. Do you think that them putting the title on Rob Van Dam was like going? Okay, well, ECW's making the comeback. It's pretty hot. We got to launch this brand. Rob Van Dam is the face of it. We got the EC, bring back the ECW championship, make it mean something, put it on an original ECW guy, give him the WWE championship, give the fans something that they want. And they're sitting there going, man, Rob Van Dam isn't the fucking guy that should be champion of this company. Like, fuck this. Like, you know what I mean? And then it's like, oh, but, you know, the fans are going crazy for it. So we got to give them what they want. 